What's going on guys, it's Wade, and in this video we are literally on our way to an amazing property. I cannot wait to share this property with you. Guys, this is a flip home that I have named the Inheritance House. So we are going from top to bottom on this home. It is going to be um, roof, floors, or maybe doing windows possibly, we're not really sure yet. Um, we are doing everything on this property plumbing electric it's going to be an amazing experience i cannot wait for you guys to actually get in on the ground floor and view the progression on this home we are about there um, i stopped to pull over to shoot this video and i can't wait to uh, get you guys in this property now guys if you are not familiar with my channel my name is wade i'm a local real estate agent real estate investor and youtuber located in orlando florida the whole purpose of my channel is essentially better educate buyers sellers and investors who are looking to get into real estate who are looking to invest in real estate and really just get as many people as educated as possible in the real estate realm. So I can't wait to actually start this video. I can't wait for you guys to actually see the progression and how we learn through the process, but it's gonna be a phenomenal video. Be sure to um, subscribe and hit that like button as it really, really does help out the channel. But let's go ahead, let's get into it. So we are out at the flip property. We are nicknaming this home the Inheritance House. I just wanted to give you guys an exterior look, a 10,000 foot um, view of the property. This is exactly what you're going to want to look for when you are looking for rehab homes, something that you can go in, force equity into the, um, into the property, and then we are going to do a walkthrough as to everything we are doing to this home with numbers. This is going to be a phenomenal learning ex um, opportunity, so I really can't wait to actually get into this home. We're going to go through quotes. We're going to go through prices. We are definitely going to be diving deep in this home, so be sure to pay attention and follow along. Seller just pulled up. That's gonna be Dan. All right, guys, so we're walking on through. Let's go ahead. Dan, you wanna say hi? hi. <laughs> hey, guys, this is Dan. He is the inheritee ish. Quite. Quite. Once, um, once removed. Once removed. So. Um, guys, we're, this is actually the first time we've been in the property. We've been clearing it out. Um, I did want to give a first look, guys, but honestly, everything in here kind of didn't look great. Sorry, Dan. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's 1961. So this is a 1961 build. It's got a lot of 1961 stuff. So it's really just a matter of bringing 2020 to 1961 is what we're going to look to try to do. So. Yeah. So a lot of key things when actually we're coming into this property, we're looking at uh, the age of the roof, AC, your plumbing and wiring. Those are going to be the four things that actually kind of determine what it is we need to do to this property and are going to influence the value whenever we come back to it. So you can already see, we're probably going to redo this kitchen. We're going floor to ceiling, pretty much everything. Um, we already looked at these outlets. So I'm actually going to sh point something out to you guys. You're going to see this is a three prong outlet. So something that three prong outlets do is they actually ground the property to make sure that there's no sparks and things like that. Um, and then down here, you'll see there's new wiring. This is a two prong outlet. So this is actually something we have, to, we have to go through. We have to make sure, get an electrician out here, make sure the wiring is actually correctly done in this property. That's actually something we already did do is we actually unscrewed these to actually see if there was that little copper wire behind there. That's a great way you can actually tell if it was wired up to code. Um, so let's go ahead. This is going to be an external probably going to yank all this out of here, but you guys can see what this used to look like. It was almost a hoarder's house. Um, and then out here, guys, this is going to be the backyard and everything that we're looking for. We're, we are bringing this up to code. We're bringing everything up to date. We're going to do whole new windows. We're going to get new doors on here. Um, we're doing a utility package to get all new appliances. I'll actually walk out the back door here as well. So you guys can see exactly what it is we're looking for. Check this out, guys. So it's got this whole patio on the back. This is all covered. We don't know if we're actually gonna be taking this down yet. It really just determines on whether or not someone wants it, if it actually brings any value. Let's be 100% honest, it actually really doesn't because it's, it's not really permanent. You can see this is all DIY handyman stuff. I'll um, show you guys the backyard here. This is actually a uh, pretty decent backyard. But what we're actually doing in, when we go through this property is we are literally gutting pretty much everything. So you guys, this is actually a brand new AC unit. I just briefly referenced the fact that we want to make sure our AC wiring, plumbing, and our roof. It does look like when we hopped up on the roof that we are possibly gonna need a new one. The roof was done in 95. 
So it's a 25 year old roof, almost 26 years old. Thankfully, we do have this giant tree here that's kind of been protecting it, but it definitely needs to get replaced. Um, so after that, guys, we have our wiring. We already talked a little bit about um, having the correct wiring with the copper wire, um, but we are gonna have a professional electrician come through and verify everything is safe, put new three-prong outlets into everything. That's really gonna bring this home up to code. Um, and then after that, it's gonna be the AC. AC was already done. This AC unit was actually just put in just a few months ago before the um, property owner uh, passed away. So that's something that we have less to do. And after that, guys, it's roof, wiring, AC, and our plumbing. There's one thing I do want to show you guys. We're actually walking over here. So this is a great thing you can actually see, um, polybutylene. So polybutylene piping is illegal. Basically, when you heat it up and when it uh, cools, it starts to crack over time. An easy way to tell polybutylene piping is by this gray pipe. It looks similar to PVC, but polybutylene is only ever gray. It's a great way to tell. Typically replacing polybutylene um, for this size house, maybe about 3,500 to 1,200 square feet. Um, of course, check where your um, area is. But guys, that's everything we, that we've done on the first day. So it's been a pr really productive day. Um, let's go ahead and walk onto the property. I'll give you guys an update. So kitchen, floor to ceiling. We're probably gonna keep this flooring. This is actually pretty high quality. So taking out. D Dan, you're wanting to do all new light fixtures too, right? Oh, sorry, we got someone out front. No, we're cleaning out. That's something you're gonna find pretty often when you're doing rehab, people just knocking on the door. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna show you guys this bathroom. This bathroom is nasty. Very, very disgusting. See all that? Let's get a little bit closer. Honestly, I don't even want to step on this. But you see, there's a, this is a three bed, one bath. We're probably either gonna do a whole shower here um, or we might do like a tub shower combo. We're not really sure yet. Either way, this has to go. Um, this It's not really gonna be coming back. Normally what I'll do is I'll tell people to just reglaze it. It can look really, really great um, and bring it back to life. But in this case, it's probably just not gonna come back. Um, this is the first bedroom. Kind of small, about nine by nine. Uh, come back through. This is the sister. <laughs> and guys, we're getting into the master. I don't really know if we want to call it the master. It is the largest of the bedrooms, though. Here. But you can see everything that we've cleaned out. I'll show you guys the front, actually, real quick. This is everything that we tore out of the property. Um, and you guys can really, that's going to wrap it up. You guys are going to really enjoy this. Uh, it's going to be a great flip. It's going to be a great educational walkthrough. Um, so let's go ahead here. You guys can see everything we took out. In general for you. all this so all right guys tune in we're gonna have the next video probably about a week or two with an update um you guys are definitely gonna enjoy this walkthrough i cannot wait to start doing this um, project thanks so much guys bye